The band Guster was formed by three students at Tufts University 27 years ago. They still talk to each other, yep. they still hang out, they still play music together. One of the founding members of Guster is Adam Gardner. He lives in the Portland area and he is getting ready for the second annual On the Ocean Festival that will be happening in Portland the first weekend of August and he's with us here on 207. Good to see you again. Thank you for coming yeah, in. Yeah, thanks for having me. You guys aren't just performing at the festival. Last year, this was really the idea of the band, and in particular of your, you know, this came out of your head, to do really different kind of stuff. Quick question, was it fun for you last year? Did you have a good time with it? Yeah, it was a lot of work and it was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was both, really fun and, and a lot of work. I think we learned a lot from how to make this just as much fun, but a little less work personally for me. Yeah, which, <laughs> which is basically good. means my management team needs to come up and do more work. Just to give people an idea of what was involved in this last year, you did uh, a couple of different shows in major venues, Thompson's Point notably, uh, but you also went kayaking with Guster fans out on Casco Bay. You were playing in the gazebo out on the Eastern Promenade, doing stuff that really gave your fans a different experience with the band and gave you guys a different kind of experience with the fans. Totally. Well, the whole idea was like, this, let's make this a destination weekend, Maine in its prime in August. Let's have people from all over New England come and join us and let's spend, yeah, a, a more of a, a unique time together and enjoying Maine as you know, as I enjoy it. The way life should be. Yeah. Very action-packed weekend, but uh, this year, Friday night, you're kicking off with a show at State Theater. Mm -hmm. What can people expect with that? So that'll be a very different show than Thompson's Point. We're really trying hard to keep those different so people will enjoy both in different ways. The, the venues are different in, in and of themselves. And just for people who don't know, you'll be State Theater Friday, Thompson's Point, the next night, Saturday. That's right, yep. And uh, so Friday night, we're, we're actually setting up something in the past, we've done like set list wheels where you spin the wheel and whatever song it lands on, we're playing it. <laughs> we'll do some version of that, probably involving ping pong balls, which is more appropriate for our band anyway. <laughs> and Saturday morning, you actually have a fun event planned with mm -hmm. Reverb, your nonprofit. Yeah. What can people expect with that? Yeah, so this is a community service event. So we're partnering with Portland Trails. I've been nicknaming it Service and Suds <laughs> because it's going to be a service project that we do together in the morning and then in the afternoon, Mass Landing and Guster have a collaboration beer together called On the Ocean and we're having a can release party there at Mass Landing Brewery. Do you know yet what your service project will be? Yeah, we're gonna, well I can't tell you okay. everything because it's a closed, it's something that people have to apply for. So if they go to reverb.org, they can apply. Okay. Um, but it's not unfortunately open to everybody because it's a limited number of people that we can have do it. Well, top secret. Uh, what is not so secret is the beer. So let's talk about the beer. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be called on the Ocean Pale Ale, and this is a collaboration that kind of got going because you met some of the people at Mast Landing Brewing in Westbrook, and how did that conversation go? We were actually at a Dave Matthews Band concert, and we happened to bump into each other, and oh, we realized that we were fans of each other. And I think I was probably more excited than they were to, <laughs> to, to meet, but immediately we started talking about, like, oh, we should do a beer together. I loved their beer, and they liked the band, so it just fell into place very quickly. Yeah. And it's good, right? I'm making beer. it tomorrow. Ooh. We're actually going there and brewing it. Yeah, so uh, I, I can't imagine. Everything I've tasted that has come out of their brewery right. is delicious, so I can't imagine it will be anything other than delicious. They won't let you mess it up. It'll be fine. Yeah, exactly. I told them that. I was like, <laughs> fine, don't let me you know, too close to it. This up. Yeah. It's not a very glamorous job, Adam, when, they, when the guys have to shovel up the spent grain that's right. been used in the brewing <laughs> process, so I hope they put you to work and they make will. you earn your keep over there. <laughs> Absolutely. And then Sunday, you're wrapping this up with a family fun event with the mm -hmm. Portland Sea Dogs. Yeah. Which is just, again, another way of enjoying Portland and what it has to offer with, with fans. And we'll be playing cats with people ahead of, of the game out on the uh, infield there. And, and I'm sure there'll be other shenanigans that, that will pop up. And that's a lot of what the weekend's about is, is basically come on out. There's some things that are very clear Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday day. But then there's all these other things that we, if you stay in touch on our social media, you, you, you'll hear about. We don't want to tell you how to run your life, but we would love to see the members of Guster in a race around the base path oh. with <clears throat> Slugger. Yeah, so you have to dress up as ketchup and mustard and <laughs> relish, though, right? Just the way that's they do at the games. <laughs> that would not be, that's been discussed. Let's put it that way. It's been discussed. You guys are so good at connecting with your fans. Why is that so important to you? I think it's just who we are as people. I don't, like that whole rock and roll wall that separates like these stars from their fans, that was never us. And, that, and, I, and I, I think the reason why we're still a band for this long and why our fans still come is because we didn't have that and we have a real relationship with them. Yeah. On the Ocean Festival, 
August 3rd, 4th, and 5th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We've got a link with all the information on it. Adam, thanks so much for coming in. Great to yeah. see you as always. It's going to be fun to have you guys in town. And we'll be back with more of 207 right after this.